Hey, I'm Gretchen Men, and I'm collaborating with Spin Magazine and Tascam to give a very quick test drive of this Tascam Porta Capture X8, which is a very portable, high res, multi track recorder. For full disclosure, I am being compensated to make this video, but as with anything on my channel, I'm very committed to partnering only with companies whose products align with my integrity. So I'll only do a demo of a product here that I honestly believe is worth your time and money that delivers quality and genuine value. This isn't going to be a full tutorial, but I'll take you through some of the features that stood out to me and go over how I set it up, and then I'll link to some more extensive tutorials and full information from Tascam in the video description if you're interested in digging a little bit further. Okay, so let me take you through some of the essential features. This Porta Capture X8 has two condenser mics, the largest of Tascam's lineup. And they're detachable, so you can do an AB pattern for wide stereo sounds or an XY pattern for more focused sound with reduced phasing. I'm using the XY pattern as this apartment living room is not very acoustically compelling. You have six audio inputs plus stereo mix and a headphone jack and a large touch screen with very straightforward operation. I think the interface that most of us are most practiced on is our phone and so you can really tell that this interface was designed with that in mind. The intuitiveness of the operation and the navigation means you're probably going to find it really easy to use, at least I did. Okay, dynamic range and floating point resolution. This was particularly interesting. 32-bit floating point resolution is what you can get here, which if you're curious to take a deeper dive is pretty interesting. Essentially, it allows for a huge dynamic range in recording, um, astronomically more than 16 or 24-bit. Plus, there's the added benefit of no specified maximum sound level, so that means that you don't get clipping. So practically for musicians, what that means is you can really mess up your gain setting and still save a good recording. So say I'm playing that Bach prelude that I opened the video with and I really tapped into the divine on one magical take only to realize to my horror that I had set the gain wrong. Maybe if I set it too low, boosting the signal is gonna mean increase in noise, or if I set it too high and I'm getting clipping or distortion. With 32-bit floating point resolution, audio levels can be adjusted after the fact, up or down, with no added noise or distortion, which is incredibly cool. You have six recording apps. Manual for maximum control and multi-track recordings, up to six audio inputs and a stereo mix. You have voice for interviews and meetings, voice recordings. I'm not using it right now only because I only have one of these and I wanted to be able to hold this while talking about it. Then you have music, which has various presets for instruments and types of rooms. That's what I'm using when I'm switching to the playing portions. And it also has a built-in metronome and tuner and different types of reverbs. The way I'll have it set up for this next playing portion is on a tripod with the music app, acoustic guitar preset, large hall, and I have it going via USB into Logic on my computer. Let me show you one last example of how it sounds with the included mics, the music app, this Kenny Hill classical guitar, and the Tascam unit about 12 inches away. And up next is a demonstration with this Breedlove concert in Dadgad tuning and an external mic that's going into the Tascam unit and then from the Tascam unit into Logic and I have it about 12 inches away.
I've really only scratched the surface on what this task cam can do, but I hope this might have been at least a slightly helpful quick introduction. This combination of features, small lightweight size, and the quality and flexibility of recording you can get with it, I think means a lot of people will find it very useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm always wishing you the very best on your musical journeys.